In this video, I'm going to show you a simple route that you might be sleeping on that is really effective for pretty much beating anything that the defense is going to throw at you. This concept as a general rule is one of my favorite five out passing concepts in the entire game because it really does a great job of spacing the field and giving you a ton of opportunity. Now, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, I upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Also want to let you know that in this video, we're going to be talking about the trips tight end formation. It's probably my favorite offense in the game. Just there's so many things that you can do about it. I think that are do with this. I think that we've just scratched the surface of all of the routes and concepts that you can create from this formation. And like I said, in this video, we're sharing, sharing with you a very simple concept that I really do like against pretty much almost any defense in this game. And I'm gonna show you why. It's really just a simple two-man read. We're gonna tag it with a backside three-man route combo um, that is gonna be really effective just to simply beat all the coverages in the game. So um, if you want to get my entire Trips Tied In offensive ebook, I'm gonna put a link to my Patreon in the description. You can get all of my ebooks over at the Patreon membership for one price of $10 a month. $10 a month unlocks the entire membership, which gives you access to 14 offensive and defensive ebooks instantly, as well as several exclusive tips, updates, and Q&A platforms, as well as private personal messaging, where you can get your questions answered and become a better player. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description below. Okay, guys. So in this video, like I said, we're talking about, you know, just kind of a simple concept out of PA Counter Go. It's not, we're not going to use the crossing route, okay? We're going to be talking actually about these two little out routes that this formation gives us access to and how to really utilize it. I think one of the more creative ways that you can run this concept um, that is really effective against pretty much every coverage in the game. You don't need any abilities to run this. You literally can just run it, okay? And really where I like this, uh, this concept for primarily is man coverage. So if I'm getting a lot of man-to-man, -man, I'll run this concept. I really like it against man-to-man. -man. Now, simply put, what we're going to do with this is you have a couple of different options. Um, you can run a double drag, which basically what we're going to do, kind of like a double post, we're just going to in route the running back and we're going to drag Chris Godwin. Now, if we do something like that, uh, what I like to do with the this uh, backside receiver, you can either leave him on the fade you could also put him on a skinny post if you have an out, outside apprentice or hot route master. But, I mean, honestly, you could literally just do this. The cool part about this tight end route is if it's man coverage, it doesn't matter who it is. He's pretty much always going to get separation and oftentimes going to break it for a pretty big game. Okay? Now, let's say, for example, that, you know, they're using that route or whatever. The beauty of this play is, again, it's just so simple, but at the same time so effective. So, you know, now what you're going to get is this little double drag concept. Well, against man coverage, these running back routes do a really good job at just getting some separation, especially you have backfield mismatch, backfield master on them. You also honestly don't even need that, though. Like, literally, you could just, I mean, you'll see, I'll throw this running back route two or three times here, and you're going to notice consistent separation every single time. You see how they work as kind of a little pick play, and we get, you know, again, three to five yards, honestly, at this point in the year. Um, and again, we don't want to have to, I mean, you can pretty much bomb a lot as well, but you don't want to live and die by that. This gives you very much so consistency. So you get that little natural pick, natural rub. And as you can see, we're just getting, you know, simple gains, simple gains, simple gains. Um, I'm going to give you another setup a little bit more advanced here in just a second. But let's say, for example, they're going shaded up, which they would, you know, if they don't shade up, then you got a chance to hit this deep uh, fade. But if they shade up, now look how much more separation we get. Okay. So, and typically, honestly, if you're playing someone that's running man, you're going to, you're not going to get a lot of coverage to man this year. You're going to get a lot of this Mike Blitz zero. So it might look something like this. And this is where this play really shines against a, a concept like that, because we get free releases and it makes it really easy for these routes to win uh, against man to man coverage. Now, the thing I really wanted to share with you also, though, is how this play works against zone. What you're going to notice is these little out routes really can pull the zones back and basically create essentially a very basic high-low, right? Essentially a very basic high-low on both sides of the field. That was uh, curl flat zones. I'm going to show you the quarter flat zones here. And what you're going to notice is, again, all the zones are going to drift back because of the vertical routes. And you can just easily check down to your running back. You can also check down to 
um, your drag route over the middle of the field. The user, if he goes to the running back, then you can say, okay, I'm just going to go over here. As you can see, the routes get open. Now I'm going to show you something that's going to kind of manipulate these zones here uh, for this next tip, but I want to show you one more coverage, and that is the Mabel coverage. So let's say, for example, they go to you know Mike Blitz 3, and we get a double flat, if you will. One of the real secrets, uh, and I think not secrets, but just one of the real hidden gems of this is that these drags um, can, can really do a good job. Whoops, threw that just a little bit too early or too late. Um, these drags can do a really, really good job against a double Mabel. Okay, these drags can do a really good job against the double Mabel. Obviously, if they're dropping eight, you know that's one thing. And also, you have to remember in in game mode, typically they're going to be putting these on zone drops. But the beauty of this little setup right here is, you know, I can just take, you know, I could have hit that in route a little bit right there. You know, if it really breaks down, then I can just wait for route bounces. Like I said, if they're only going to blitz two or three people, you're going to have a lot of time to be able to, you know, hit different things. But let's say, for example, we're getting a lot of Mabel coverage and we want to have a little bit of a plan against that. Well, what I like to do against, if, if I'm playing someone and I know that they're running a significant amount of Mabel coverage, then I'm going to do this next setup that I'm going to share with you right now. And that next setup is really pretty, fairly simple. You do need a backfield mis or a master or a hot route master. We're going to put the running back on a ghost, as you can see right here. And then on this back side, honestly, we're not going to really worry with these concepts. If you want to, you if you want to leave this out route, then what I would recommend do is take Godwin and put him on a streak and then put Evans on a drag and you're going to motion him over. But the main thing I want to show you is this route on the right side. What you're going to see is this ghost route is going to really hold zones to the inside of the play and make it relatively simple for us to be able to hit that zone. So right there, that was a a quarter flat. Uh, I'm going to show you a hard flat here. As you can imagine, a hard flat is probably the easiest one to manipulate um, of all the zones. We see here this little concept right here. And now what you're going to see is, I mean, you see how these underneath zones just sit on that and you've got your tight end really, I mean, in a great way, um, you know, just opening up against that. Now I'm going to show you a seam flat and a hard flat combo. So kind of like a to mirror uh, what a Mabel coverage might look like depending on, you know, how they're running it. And you'll see here again, snap that drag kind of right in there. And look at that, look at that tight end, tight end out, just hitting the sideline pretty much very, I mean, very much so exactly how we want them to hit it. And then in a curl flat, I will say the curl flat probably does the best out of any zone, but you have to remember if you're creating Mabel coverage, those curl flats won't drop that far. Um, but what you'll see right here, see, you still can kind of fit that in. It's just a little tighter um, on that sideline. On the backside sideline, you're going to have a little bit more success. But like I said, the curl flat for my money, probably the best zone at guarding it, uh, at guarding this specific out route. Let me show it to the tight end one more time, and then we'll show it to the other side. But what you'll see here, if you just wait on it, you see how you could just check it down right there and just take what the defense gives you if you want to, okay? And then, like I said, on the left side, whenever we motion the outside receiver, notice that the defense shifts inside significantly, right? Well, what that does is it gives us a lot of leverage now to this side of the field to either hit our drag or to hit our uh, our out route to to Antonio Brown over there on the outside. So, you know, again, real simple. Uh, it, it, again, really nothing, you know, crazy. You know, another way, if you don't have, if you don't have the ability to do this, uh, what you could easily do is just simply do something like this. This is a very simplified way of doing it, just using a hitch. And the reason I would use a hitch is because when you motion him over here, this is going to kind of serve similarly and give you that kind of smash type concept that we want to be able to manipulate most of the zones. And like I said, the curl flat, the, the curl flat zone, in my opinion, is probably the best. If you don't, you know, you could also run it like this. This is another way or just put a hitch, uh, a curl flat hitch or a curl flat curl. Either one of those will work. But if they run a cover three here, again, you can just playmaker this back backfield and have a simple check down. What I really like about this play is it combines a man beater and a zone beater within one, right? This little rounded out route. If you smart route it, it will go a little bit deeper as well if you're on a first and 10. But notice just the consistency. And especially you have a deep out elite player over there, which only costs one AP. 
you're going to be in a pretty good position uh, to do to, to pretty much manipulate almost anything they're going to throw your way. Now, like I said, the the curl flat the, the curl flat defender to me is the one that plays this probably the best. But when you see here, when I smart route him, I got the, a little window on the side there. But again, I just check it back down to your ghost route, take yards. Um, or, I mean, again, on the backside too, you know, if you go with the concept like this, this is probably my favorite way to run this play, to be quite honest with you. If I get cover three, then I should be able to throw a hitch or throw that flat pretty much all, game, all day long. And they're going to have to make a decision. Are they going to give that up? They're going to give the curl up. And you're just going to get in this back and forth, back and forth, um, little chess match here. But I just love this play. I think that this ghost route does such a good job. There's so many, and I have to tell you, against Mabel coverage, against zone drop coverage, you're gonna have a lot more success than you will against just a standard cover three with a curl flat. Most people, when they defend trip side in, they're automatically going to be putting their curl flat zones on five and their hooks on five. So you're just going to simply take that running back route all day long. Um, or take that tight end route. So again, a very simple setup, very simple route, but I just love how the spacing of this formation works. And I think you can get a lot of mileage out of this play whenever they start to overcommit to some of your other concepts out of trip tight end. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to learn the rest of this uh, offense, I would really encourage you to join the Patreon. There's a link in the description if you're still watching this video and you're interested. Just want to remind you that by joining the Patreon, you don't have to sign up for it's a month to month thing. So you can cancel whenever you'd like. But by signing up, you're going to get access to all of my ebooks, all my tips, everything. I've got a, I think I've got 14 ebooks over there right now on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. We got some stuff for current gym as well. So I'd really encourage you to check check that out. There's a link in the description if you're interested. So if you're still watching, you want to check it out. Head on down to the description and check out the Patreon.